I had um went through whole, all my college shit. Every college thing, every college course that I could take, I did. It. But I was never good in math, right? I was never good in math. So I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna take that college algebra later. I'll take that basic math later. Like just to get like, oh, I'll just, I'm gonna just drop that class. And, Cause I know I'm gonna fail in it, you know what I mean? So, it got so much so to the point that I had actually passed every other class except for the math, the college algebra, which they require for graduation. If you, I seen a lot of people walk away from a degree in the same way that I that I was about to because of the college math. I seen a lot of people get up to the point can't they could walk the stage but can't actually have a diploma. You're not gonna get that. You get an empty thing. So I seen this shit happen to people before. So I knew that it was a possibility that this shit could happen to me. So um, <clears throat> I walked the stage with an empty, an empty uh, diploma case. Everybody did. Everybody did, but it was just a matter of going to the bursar's office. Oh yeah, because I did that, boom, and they give it to you. But you weren't going to get that unless you did satisfactorily everything that they asked you to do. You just wasn't going to get it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, 25, I'm in Ramapo, this is, which is my walk, about an hour or what? Lived on the campus, I done did it. I took five years to do it. Living up there, just, you know what I'm saying? Reading poetry, reading all, all kinds of stuff. Trying to learn what my purpose would be. So, it got to the point, I had to leave the campus now. I can't no longer be on the campus. You know what I'm saying? I probably could have took a summer class up there at Ramapo, but I, I'm like, yo, I'm leaving. So I went to Essex County College. To the junior college down there? I went to Essex County College. I said, I'm gonna take the college algebra here. Cause I'm in Newark, I'm back in Newark now, so I'm just gonna take it here. Now, instead of you being able, at Ramapo, I could get a D and pass the class. But if, if you go to Essex, you can get, you have to get a C to actually pass. Okay? You have to get a C to actually pass. So I probably should have just did, okay, I'm gonna go uh, just do this one last class up here. But I said, fuck it, I'm gonna just take it to Essex. Now, I'm trying to give you an idea of how much that I didn't know about math. I'm trying to give you an idea of how much I know, didn't know about math. My math skills is on a freshman type. I'm talking about a freshman in high, in high school type skill level. Basic arithmetic, basic, basic uh, addition, some percentages, some, some, some just not enough to even go into no algebra, much less no college algebra. I just don't understand it. It's, it's 
it's all fucked, it's mixed up all in my brain. I can't even fathom it. Wow, you know, I, 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 to this day, I, I'm, I'm like that. I, I, I don't know how I did it. The, the, the course was six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks of me trying to learn this fucking math. Okay? So, <laughs> instead of me going to the algebra class, doing the algebra class alone, what did I have to do? I had to go and spend, class started like six o'clock, I had to go six o'clock in the evening, I had to go to the campus from like Eight to six to get with the tutors and to get with the teachers and try to really get this fucking math shit like going in my brain. I did that. I did that. From like eight to eight from eight o'clock in the morning till six in the evening when it was time for my class. I studied. I studied from fucking eight till, I'm talking about eight in the morning until six. Trying to study to get this fucking map. They had these, um, what they call them calculators? Uh, uh, graphic calculators? Graphic calculators or something like that? Some serious shit. With, with letters and numbers, shit that y'all probably ain't even seen. Shit mm. like graphic calculators. Um, I think that was one of the things we had to have a requirement to, to do the work. We had to have that shit. Oh. So that's one portion. Not to mention the formulas. This shit is off the hook. It's crazy. It's the thing that I've been running away from since my freshman year in college. It's the thing I've been running away from. But it came to me that now is the time. Now is the time to do it. Now is the time to finally do it. I have to face this shit. So I did. I did face it. And I'm telling you, but the way I had to face it, it was just me and God. Nobody could help me, nobody could do shit. It was just me. I had to face it alone in the lonesome battle. I'll wait for everybody. Okay. So, being that I don't know shit, can just waltz in the class. Oh, who, 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 yeah, yeah, give me that, give me that, give me that. I, I couldn't even do it like that. I couldn't even do it like that. I had to go at six from fucking eight in the morning to six. Grinding on this fucking shit. Some tutors, some teachers. I'm talking about I got everybody involved in this fucking thing. Everybody involved in this thing. Everybody that was available on that campus, I got their ass involved. I need help with this shit. I can't fail this class. I got to pass this fucking class. Okay, you if you show up like this. Then you want to pass it, you show up like this. You got to do this, you got to do that. I was dead. Whatever the fuck was said, whatever they asked me to do, I did it. Oh, no. Busting my ass. I'm telling you, from the, the, the class wasn't even but probably two or three days a week. The class itself wasn't but two or three days a week. But every fucking business day, from Monday through Friday, I was there. Going through it. 
eight to fucking six work, work, working at learning that math. Okay? Oh, you simply ain't looking good, bro. Oh, shit, you done failed this test, man. This is, this is just not looking good. You gotta drop this class. The teacher? Hey, man. Why don't you just listen for a minute? I'm trying to tell you. To, to, to try to listen. The teacher herself, her, her, her name was Miss Beth. Black man. Little short afro, light skin. Fine lady, nice lady. Real man. She, um, she got to drop this. She said, yo, I told her, I said, listen, I done did, I done been and done that. I can't drop it. I can't drop it. I got I to gotta do it. Okay? I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you, you said, bro. Boom, busting this shit. Busting my ass trying to learn this shit. But y'all know this, this is this is impossible to learn at this point. You know what I'm saying? I'm 25. I, I, I just can't. I can't. So I bust my ass down. I'm talking about doing this shit, learning this shit. So somehow, see you chef. All right, you did all right on that. Now, we're coming to the finals and shit. Only way I'm going to be able to give you that grade is that you, 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 you got to come through on this. You got to come through on this. And I had, I had prepared cheat notes. I had prepared all kinds of shit. Cheat notes, I, I, I prepared all kinds of shit. Up under the bed, up under the desk and shit. That formula's under the desk that I stashed this shit before we even got in. Got to the class, couldn't even use this shit. <laughs> couldn't even rely on the shit that I had prepared. Couldn't even use it. All I had was me sitting at the motherfucking chair. Questions. Nerves, I was so fucking nervous. So nervous. I, I needed a little extra time too. With that first, I was the last one to leave the class. Pencils down. I'm still <laughs> Pencils down. Walked out of that motherfucking classroom feeling like a straight up fell. Feeling like a straight up fell. I came back to the class. She had a party. Like, let's break bread and shit, and I'll give y'all your grades then. It's the last class I would be in your grades. So, Thelma Newman, he's a counselor from Ramapo. How you doing, man? What's going on? Well, man, I don't know, but it's, it's up in the air right now, man. Waiting for the grade on Monday. So, okay, okay. Hey, man, you do the best you can, whatever, wait, wait, wait. So, I said, just go Monday and find out. I went Monday, Eli was with me. I was with me. I, was, uh, I couldn't go by myself. I was just, you know, I couldn't do it. She told me that I passed with a sip. <laughs> she told me that I passed with a sip. I said, damn. I'm thinking to myself, no. Is this shit really happening? Did, did, did I really pass with a sip? Or, or did she? Do a little something extra for me. You know what I mean? She, she, I never got the answer to that question. I was afraid to ask. 
<laughs> but she said, no, you did that. You did that. You, said, you did that. I'm trying to give you a, a, a mind frame about a, a purpose. I'm trying to put you in the mind frame about a purpose, right? I'm trying to put you in the mind frame about a purpose and how when you when you on your purpose and you want something, you want a purposeful life for yourself, like you you'll be willing to really go through the hell to make that happen. To make that happen. I'm sorry. To make that happen, you're going to be willing to go through whatever you have to go through. And when you really, really on the purpose, you'll get everybody involved. You'll get everybody involved to help you accomplish your purpose. People will start showing up to help you with your purpose. I'm telling you, people will start showing up. People that you thought would never even be there for you will start wanting to help you with your purpose. If you put it to them like, yo, I really want this, I need this. I can't be denied this. They are gonna start, start showing up and trying to help you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, it, it, it's, this is all about the purpose that you want for yourself, okay? How clear is it in your mind, in your mind, the purpose that you want for your own life? How clear is that in your own mind? Do you know if you want it or if you don't want it? Because once you find this out, if you don't want it, hey, fuck it off. Fuck it off. If you do want it, get to work. Get to work. You understand what I'm saying? Now, one thing, one thing, one thing, hold on. Time, but I'm just trying to really drive home the point that <coughs> that purpose part, that purpose part, that's a serious part right there to how you want to do it in your life and what you want to do. That, that, that part is a serious part. That purpose part is a serious part. Years ago, Isaiah mentioned, he said, y'all might know, not know right now. You know, y'all young, y'all might not know right now. But this part, you got to find out. This is the part that you really have to find out. Because when you find this out, then you can get to work. But you can't get to work until you find that out. So, fast forward to this day and age, I'm 50. I've lost 25 years. It seemed like I lost it. And now, I'm right back at that same spot when I was 25, trying to find a sense of purpose again. I done lost 25 years. Didn't even, listen to me, y'all. Forgot who I was. Forgot who I was. In 25 years, forgot who I was. Got lost. Didn't know my wife. Completely lost. Didn't even... I look back, I say, what the fuck happened? What about my 
purpose that I had for myself. Because back then when I was 25, I could... Y'all talking about manifestation and all that? I'm telling you, I could attract... I was, I was a magnet. I was a magnet for blessings, abundance, peace. Everything that I ever desired, I was a magnet for it. All kinds of blessings just fell in my lap. All kinds of blessings just fell in my lap. I didn't even have to do shit. All I, could, all I had to do was be myself. Look good. You know, I, 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 was, I was something else. I was a sight to see. I was, I was something else. I wasn't no 400 pound man. I was a beautiful black man. Beautiful, divine black man at this time. Strong with it. Strong with it. You understand what I'm telling you? Any woman I wanted, anything I wanted, I could just bring it to, to this. It, was, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing. I could have it the way I wanted it. Like uh, the Burger King and shit. Make the burger how you want it. Make it big as you want it. Make it. Make the fucking burger this high if you want to make it like that. I could have it my way. Okay? I could have it my way and shit. Back then. But now. Make your own burger. But now. You know. Some of these things is called into question. I done lost myself so bad. I done lost my sense of purpose and shit. COVID, we sat there. We sat there. With our feet kicked up and shit, collecting. Unemployment, I got, I earned money. Connect, it's good. Stimulus. <laughs> Stimulus, checks and shit, good. You know what I'm saying? That shit just... That's a whole nother thing in time. But what I'm telling you, <laughs> don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. Find your motherfucking self, your, yourself, and fucking find out what that purpose is for your life. I got to do it. I'm 50. I got to do it now, today. M me, myself. I'm talking about me. I have to do this shit too. So don't think that you're so special that you don't have to do it. No. I want you to know that right now at 50, I have to do it. So you young motherfuckers, part of my language. I'm part of my language. I'm sorry. I don't mean motherfuckers. I mean you young kings and queens. Gods and goddesses. That's what I mean to say. You young people, y'all really got to do it. If I got to do it at 50, y'all really going to have to do it. Y'all really going to have to do it. And the sooner you do it, the sooner you do it, the better. The sooner you do it, the sooner you can get to work, the better. Okay? So... That's what I got to say. That's all I got to say. I don't want to go into no negative space. I'm going to leave this on a positive note. I'm not trying to go on no, into no negative space. Because y'all know me. And y'all know how I am. And you know the thing that got me lost for my purpose. And you know the thing that got me lost for my purpose. You know it. If you know me, you know what took me off of my game. If you know, you know, mm, I see what it is that took him off. I see what it deterred him. But I want this to be on the positive note. Each and every individual in here, I love y'all. I love y'all with <laughs> I love y'all with all my heart. And I want for you more than I want for myself. More than I want for myself. I don't. 
I, I want for y'all more than I want for myself. Okay? And this is my problem. That's, this is my own personal thing here. Wanting more for people. You know what I'm saying? Then they might want for themselves. How, how, do, I know, how do I know any, that you want anything at all? How do I know? I don't know. So I got to get out of the habit of wanting for people. I got to want for myself now. I got to want for myself. So that's what I'm going to work on. And all of us should be working out on that as well. And the sooner it be done, the sooner we can get to work on it. And the sooner we can get to work on it, the shit can happen overnight when we get to work on it. I'm done.
some ideas. Get some ideas. Put them shits down on the vision board. Something that you want. Something that you desire. Something that you wish to accomplish. Put that shit down on the vision board so that if you forget, if you forget who you are, if you forget what your purpose is, you can go. Right back to the fucking vision board and look and see. Oh, okay. Let me, oh shit. Oh, I forgot I wanted to do that. I got to do that. I can, oh shit, the LLC, I forgot all about that. Oh shit, the EI, I need a goddamn new car. Remember, so you can remember the fucking things if you should forget. So you can remember, have a fucking constant reminder in your mind about what you want to do. A constant reminder, just right manifested on paper. What do you want to do that you can have it on paper? And then, if you forget, you can go right back to the paper. That's what the vision board is for. Try and try. It's three things did not. You can use it and go back to business and try to come up with something. But don't just be here lost and confused and not knowing which direction and what you want to do. Don't do that. Cause I did years of that. And I thought I was doing something right too. <laughs> I thought I was doing something right. Turned out I was, I was, I was way off of our point, our basics. Turned out I was way off. I thought I was doing something working for the white man. I thought I was doing something. I thought I had enough money and I was working and no. I wasn't doing nothing. Turned out I wasn't doing nothing. Nothing. And guess what I got now? Nothing. That's what 25 years of bullshit will get you. I'm telling y'all. Y'all better start doing this stuff. All right. My ancestor is a spiritual. Did you go dad? Yeah. Okay. You sure?
I'm not. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Every I'm time we do this, we're supposed to say, we're supposed to say, I said, after, after, um, I guess after, yeah. Just say it together? Yeah, I mean. Oh, okay, okay. So let's say it, y'all. Just One, two, three. I'll say. Okay, now we can do the whole rhyme. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Vision boards. I don't know, but I'm I was like, 